Hi guys, welcome to episode 3 of Techno News. Yes, the name and the format is still to be decided, but please let us know what you think of, of these videos in the comments below. Any feedback is welcome. Thank you. Um, so firstly, I want to start off with Valorant news. Um, Premiere did launch. Um, we tried to access it, but it wouldn't register the team for whatever reason. Um, I did set the team up in time. We got some players involved, and whenever I tried to click on the actual game part of it, it just says your team wasn't registered. So I don't know if I did something wrong in the meantime, or if we just did it too late. So unfortunately, we were unable to join in with that. I'm um, hoping to hit the next one, though. I'm sure they'll do another one after this month. And hopefully we'll get things running properly from there. Along with that, they did launch the Arcade Bundle, as it's known, or the Radiant Entertainment System Skin Bundle, which is really impressive. It's just as good as it looked, if not better. Um, it was quite expensive, which was a bit of a downfall, but I did give in and cave eventually. But it is sort of worth it for what you get, to be honest. The effects on the guns themselves are fantastic. The sound effects, the interactive effects when you're sort of doing the inspect and things like that are pretty impressive. Uh, the graphical effects when you're actually shooting the gun with the bit blocks flying out the end of the gun, like fire and things, are all pretty good. And then there's the actual finishing moves based around the three game cartridges included in the bundle, which are knockout, dance fever, and bazooka badger. All of which are pretty impressive. What do you think of it? Please let me know in the comments below. The next bit of news is Project V, as it's known. Tim the Tapman, Cypher PK, Nick Mouse, Courage and Ninja. All making a new Battle Royale game. But unlike Doc, who's actually making a game from the ground up, these are doing it within the Unreal Engine modifications you can make within Fortnite. Uh, it's due for a release sometime in 2024. They didn't really give a lot of details. So basically they're game is making the game they want to play it's going to be a battle royale as i said it's based within the fortnite engine i'm not sure how that works i don't know if they can sort of tweak the actual game mechanics of health and damage and things like that and how the game how the gun player works or if it's just going to be basically like the other videos that are out there at the minute of as you can see here call of duty within fortnite so this is a, a mod made based around the rust map in call of duty um which graphically is really impressive, to be fair. Um, the actual map, all the parts to it, do look like a different game. They don't look like Fortnite. But as I said, the actual character models, the way they move, the way they shoot, is still Fortnite. So I don't know how they get around that. Um, I'm sure there must be ways of modifying it. I don't know. But um, it'll be interesting to see. Um, I don't know how relevant it'll be next year will this still be a thing i'm assuming it will be it is still quite popular but um let me know what you think about that in the comments below next up is another video um which has been doing the rounds which looks insane um this is a tech demo called unrecord um it's made in unreal engine 5 and this is basically how games could look in the near future um, it's quite scary how realistic this looks to be honest and it's a bit of a worry with regards to the gunplay and FPS games and stuff like that um, but technically what it's doing is pretty much unbelievable it's, it's like watching a body cam it's quite intense quite scary um, but at the same time really impressive um, there was a lot of Calls of bullshit around this, people saying it is actually body cam footage and things like that, but it's not. You can tell sort of here the way the torch works, um, the gun smoke when he shoots it, it all looks very video game torch and smoke. But, um, and the way the screen renders the sides out as you're moving, um, to sort of free up the memory for what's in front of you and things like that, it's it is a game, um, but it's really top draw and it's quite impressive. Similarly, there was another tech demo done in unreal this one called cliffwood village um again the foliage um the way there's so many levels not so much the water the water doesn't look great to be honest but um everything bar that looks fantastic um again this was done within unreal 5 as i said the waterfall doesn't look brilliant but if you have a look at the grass, the way there's different levels, different textures, things moving at different paces on the breeze, 
the lighting. It's just another level. Um, and it's quite exciting to see how things might progress in the near future. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Another bit of news that's doing the rounds at the minute is around this game, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I've not actually played these. I would like to. Um, I'm sure the Fallen Order is on the game passes and things like that. I'm sure I've got it on the Xbox and the PlayStation somewhere. Um, it ticks all the boxes for stuff I should like, to be honest. It plays like Dark Souls, it's Star Wars, it just looks amazing. But for some reason, I just haven't got around to trying it. However, this one has launched to quite a bad press, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of hate doing the rounds on socials around the game's performance on all platforms. Um, seems to be a lot of popping severe frame rate dips and a number of game breaking glitches, um, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame because visually it looks pretty damn impressive. Some of the glitches have let the Digital Foundry pretty much calling it one of the worst PC ports I've seen in a long time. So hopefully you're, if you're playing it, you're not experiencing any of those difficulties. Uh, please let me know again what you think in the comments below. Right, and the last bit of news I have is around a game I really need to get back into, and that's Phasmophobia. Um, it's had a lot of updates since the last time I played it, which was Christ, nearly a year, two years ago now, to be honest, um, not long after it came out. Um, but there's a new patch due at the end of May, um, which is going to basically change how the game mechanics play entirely. It's going to introduce new maps and things, but also introduce new gear levels um, of tiers. And so at the minute, each item only has the basic level um, that's now going to become level two and there's going to be a basic level and a more advanced version of each item within the game as well as lots more items being introduced all sounds a bit complicated basically um, an example to give us the dots projector which is basically a light you put in a room it shines a load of 3d dots around the room and if a shadow moves past them you've got your evidence of the ghost yeah so basically level two is going to be as it stands um you, you put the dots machine down in the room and the lights show if there's any uh, ghosts within there um level tier one is going to be like a hand torch that you hold them as you shine around um, you might catch a glimpse of something you might not and then level three is going to be a more advanced version of the basic one which is going to pretty much light up an entire room and give you more chance of seeing what you're looking for um, so that's pretty much how that's going to affect every item in the game itself i would like to get back into it if you're up for teaming up and showing us the ropes i'll be more than up for that if you drop us a comment below and let me know what you make of it. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for now. I hope you found this video worthwhile and you got what you needed out of it. Um, please let me know in the comments below for any feedback, anything at all. I do appreciate it. Uh, remember to hit the thumbs up on this video. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for alerts to get more content. And while you're there, also follow me on my Twitter and TikTok for more content. And catch me every night live from around 10 o'clock p.m. UK time on twitch.tv slash technofish live. And I shall catch up with you then. Ciao for now.